Welcome to Art Inspired Yoga with the Berry Art Museum. My name is Leah of Rise and Shine. This flow we highlight Lino Talia Pietra's dinosaur. In this piece, he stretches and curves the neck of the vessel at the very last moment. Talia Pietra says he tried to integrate the strength of the dinosaur with the fluidity of the fishes that inhabit the waters of Venice. If you enjoy programming such as this, please consider becoming a member of the Berry Art Museum. We would love to have you. And on to the yoga portion of Art Inspired Yoga. Hey everyone, as you can see, Dinosaur is over here to my right. Would love to have you see it in person. When you're ready, go ahead and let's have a seat on your mat or your blanket, whatever you may be using for today's class. Sit up nice and tall. Ground into your body. You can sit either cross-legged or on your knees, sitting on your heels, whatever feels best for you. If you're on your heels, you can even place a pillow between your, your heels and your bottom. Going for comfort, really rooting into ourselves here, taking deep breaths and exhaling through our mouth. <sighs> Doing our best to channel the strength and yet the fluidity that Talia Pietra transfers in his piece here. Remember to always connect your breath to movement, to relax your jaw, sit up tall, shoulders back, chest open, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, to really sink into your body and feel, feel how you feel today. Hands can come to heart center as well. Perhaps it's in your practice to set an intention for your practice. Maybe something such as strength or focus or grace even can be your inspiration for your flow and your practice today. Root in with your breath. <sighs> Reminding yourself there is no rush. You are exactly where you are meant to be. Fully enjoy each pose and each breath as the next pose and breath flow into each other. breathing. On your next exhale, gently let your hands fall down towards the earth. Energy still going through your fingertips. Good. Wherever you are, you can swing your legs out in front of you. Wiggle them out, especially if you were sitting for so long. Let your right leg go out long. You can bend your right knee here for comfort. Shoulders are squared towards your foot. Reach down towards your foot. Maybe you reach your shin, your ankle, or maybe you can grab your whole foot. Right knee can be bent. We're still warming up, so don't be afraid of a little roundness in your back. That's A-OK. -okay. Onward to the left side, same thing. Square your shoulders towards your left foot. Left knee bends. Reach forward, embracing the stretch in your hamstrings, the back of your legs, and your back. Maybe you straighten out your leg if that feels good for you. Good. Sit up nice and tall. This time both legs are out wide. Bend both your knees and reach forward. Perhaps you straighten your legs eventually. You can rest your hands down in front of you or maybe you have a block in front of you. A pillow even. Whatever feels best. Walk your hands towards you. Bring your legs together. Now engage your core. Shoulders are back. Chin is relaxed, jaw is relaxed. We're gonna warm up our belly a bit more. You can rest your left hand behind you, swing your right hand behind, playing with that idea of strength yet fluidity, right? So strong in the core, but arms and your legs can rise up. Try that on the left side. Left arm is swooping, right arm is your support. Perhaps you can lift your left leg as well. Feeling that strength in your core, that firmness, good job. All right, sitting back up nice and tall. With control, lower down one vertebra at a time, eventually laying down on your mat. All right, so my legs are still crossed here. You can bring your soles of your feet to touch. The closer your heels are towards your, your trunk, the more intense the stretch is for your inner thighs and hips. So if you want a little more relief, bring your feet to the edge of your mat more. Tee your arms out. <sighs> Connect with your breath. 
we are able to be strong yet soft and fluid at the same time just like this glass piece here go ahead and cross your arms now and you're going to want to walk your feet out as wide as your mat and then knock your knees into each other we opened our hips now we're going to give some relief and restoration to our hips with our arms crossing them giving us a big hug now uncross them and let the opposite arm be on top, feeling a nice, gentle stretch in your shoulders and your hips. You can windshield wipe for your legs if that feels good for you, or stay in complete stillness for your legs. Eventually work your way back to the middle, feet coming in towards your chest, hugging your knees to your chest. You can add a gentle rock side to side if that would calls to you. Again, yoga is about what feels best for you, connecting your breath to movement, being completely mindful in each of the poses. <sighs> Enjoying the process. Good. Gently release your knees back to the mat. Soles of your feet touch the mat. Left foot comes up, right sole stays on the ground. Have some ankle circles. Offer your left foot, hug your left knee in, extend your right leg out as long as you can. It can still be bent. Opening up your hip flexors a bit more. Good. Gently release your left leg. Right leg comes up to the sky. Point and flex your foot. Add some ankle circles when you're ready. Again, your left leg can stay bent or extend it out long as you bring your right knee in towards your chest. See what feels best for your body today. Welcoming that hip opening. Your back and shoulders and head still are rested on the ground. Good. Gently release your right leg now. You can windshield wiper your legs here if you like or knock them into each other. Coming back to that restoration. Remember, we're not in a rush. We're allowing ourselves to attune into our body. Wonderful. When you're ready, go ahead and you can swing both knees over to one side gently, sit up tall, or you could rock and roll up as long as we meet in a tabletop. All right, so tabletop position here, wrists, elbows, shoulders are stacked. Coming into our first cow, drop your belly. Maybe you wiggle your hips a bit looking behind. That always feels good for me. Exhale to cat, round your back, tuck your chin to your chest. Good, inhale, release your belly down to cow, feeling the articulation in every vertebra. Exhale to cat, round your spine, dome your spine, saying good morning, waking up your, your vertebra. Again, cow, collarbones are nice and broadened. Exhale to cat, mixing up the compression with the, with the release, right? Tuck your toes now, coming, letting your hips come back towards your heels. Gently sit up now, waking up our feet, feeling those sensations in the arches of our foot. This can be a very intense pose, so really breathe into it. Maybe you come in and out of it, untucking your toes as need be. Or maybe you challenge yourself, really lock into your mindset here, lock into your mental fortitude. Good, come out of that foot. You can gently pitter-patter your tops of your feet on the mat to release that stretch. Look to your right, look to your left, gently swaying your hips. Good. Now stand up tall on your knees. Inhale, right leg comes in front. So right knee is strongly bent, left leg is behind, and then we come up to standing. Standing up tall, remember you are strong like the dinosaur. Strong, composed mountain pose here. Root through your feet, engage your core, lift through the top of your crown. Heart is lifted, inhale, arms sweep overhead, extended mountain pose. Reach over to the right, plain like the shape of this vessel, you have some curve, right? Reaching over to the right, coming back to center now, traditional mountain posture, arms sweep overhead again. Now this time, reach deeper towards the right. Not forcing, but just gently encouraging our body to go a bit further than before. Relax your arms. Give yourself a big hug. Good. 
arm, opposite arm comes on top now. Loosening our shoulders, tuck our chin to our chest, feel that stretch in the back of your neck, and release your arms. Inhale, arms swoop overhead, exhale, hands through heart center as you pass through to forward fold. As always, keep a bend in your knees if that feels best. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to high plank. Core is engaged, you can shift forward, lower down, chaturanga. Lift up, upward facing dog, staying on the fronts of our feet. Hips are off the ground, quads are off the ground. Good job, exhale, down dog. Hips up high. This is our first down dog of class, so of course take your time if it calls to you. Lift your heels, bend your knees when you're ready. Baby step up to the front of your mat, forward fold. So strong, good. Grab opposite elbows here and ragdoll. Keep a deep bend in your knees. Allow this release and comfort in your shoulders and upper neck and back. Good. Eventually let go of your arms, roll up one vertebra at a time. Coming back up to extended mountain pose. Taking our time, exhale, dive down to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift as if we're moving through water, just like those fish, right? Plant your palms, step back, high plank. You can lower your knees here if you like, elbows staying close to your ribs here. Lift up, upward facing dog. Nice open chest and exhale, downward facing dog. Push evenly through both palms, hips stay high. Lift your heels, bend your knees. Step towards the front of your mat. Meeting in forward fold. Head is down, inhale, halfway lift. Moving with intention, exhale, release forward fold. Inhale, swooping our arms up majestically like a dinosaur, and extended mountain pose, dive down again, forward fold. Warming up our body here, inhale, halfway lift, strong core, plant your palms. You can step or hop back to high plank, shift forward, gently move through your chaturanga. Good, engage your inner thighs here in upward facing dog. Moving with strength and intention, shift your hips back, downward facing dog. Our inverted B here, hips are up high, lift your heels, bend your knees, step, float, top, whatever calls to you to the front of your mat, forward fold, grabbing opposite elbows here, a nice rag doll. This always feels good and we can even change it up and make rainbows, paint rainbows with our hands just dangling side to side. See what your body calls for, see what feels best for it today in this moment. Bend your knees deeply, roll up one vertebra at a time, head's the last thing up. Good job. Again, connecting breath to movement, recenter in your body. Inhale, swoop your arms overhead, reach towards the right, and mimicking that curvature in the vessel we see. Coming back to center, arms come down. Again, inhale, arms up again, reach towards the left. You can add some wrist rotation if that feels good to you. Come back up tall, hands through heart center here. All right, root through your right leg, lift your left knee up, step your left foot back. Taking our time to set up here for warrior one. Deep bend in your front right knee. Left foot is rooted to the ground. Our hips are facing forward, so there's a slight twist. Plant your palms here. Coming here into runner's lunge, staying high on the ball of your left foot. Eventually dropping your left knee down, untuck your left toes here in a lizard pose. So dinosaurs are nothing but big lizards kind of, right? So let's have fun with this, going into this big hip opener. You can rest on your palms, come down to your forearms, or maybe you have a block underneath your arms or hands. As long as you're feeling that big opening in your hips, don't force, gently breathe. <sighs> Good job on lizard on the first side. All right, tuck your left toes under, lift your left knee off the ground, deep bend in your left knee, step up to meet your right and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, swoop your arms up overhead, extended mountain pose. Reach over towards your right side and then your left, arms come down, traditional mountain posture. Hugging your right knee into you, stepping back, whoosh, getting ready for warrior one on the left side. Left knee is forward, right foot is back, hips are squared forward, arms swoop up victoriously overhead, strong like the dinosaur, core is engaged here, 
good. Plant your hands down to the right of your left foot. Shimmy your left foot to the outside, coming into lizard now on this side. Lower your right knee, untuck your right toes. Welcome this big hip opener. Perhaps you do like I do, and I, I rotate onto the outside edge of my left foot. Make sure your ankle and knee are stacked if you do this rotation. Good, keep breathing. Eventually, coming up, tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee, bend your right knee, framing your foot here, and boop, we're here in forward fold. Lizard's a big posture, so we're taking our time with this. Halfway lift, exhale forward fold. Inhale, swoop your arms overhead, extended mountain posture. Hands come to heart center. Inhale again, extended mountain posture, reach to the right. Maybe you go a little further. Arms come down, inhale again, reach to the left. Nice oblique stretch here. Arms are down here. Inhale, hug your left knee again, again. Step back. We've been here before, we're familiar with this. This time, changing it up a bit, warrior two. So from warrior one, we're here at warrior two. Both of your hips are facing the top left corner of your mat. Good, straighten your right leg now, reach up with your right hand, reverse triangle. Now turn your toes, your right toes forward. We're coming into warrior two on the left. Bend in your left knee, look over your left hand, warrior two on this side. Right foot is rooted into the ground, straighten your left leg, left arm comes up, reverse triangle here. Think tall and strong, yet also fluid. Good. Turn both toes parallel towards each other. Reach your right hand towards your left foot or ankle or shin. Gentle twist here. Stand up tall. Now exhale. Left hand comes towards your right foot, ankle or shin. Stand up tall again. Deep bend here with goddess and whoosh, jump in together. All right. I like to keep my hands on my hips for some balance here. You can also grab onto a wall or a chair, anything to help support you. Lift your left knee up like we did before, but this time cross it over, getting prepared for eagle. Hands are at heart center. Every day is different. Your balance might be on point one day and then the next day you might need some props. That's a-okay. Going back to that hug, opening our shoulders and upper back. If you come out of it like I did here, just get back into it. No biggie. All right. So sinking into our eagle posture. If your toes don't wrap around your ankle, no worries. As long as you're low, sitting low and balanced, that's what counts. All right. Eagle on one side is done, deep breath in. <sighs> Big exhale out, release up to this moment. You're doing good, y'all. Let's try that on the other side. Root through your left foot, lift your right knee, cross your right knee over your left leg, engage your core. This time, opposite arm comes on top. Maybe you give yourself a hug or maybe you can intertwine your hands so that your palms face each other. Again, don't force it. Eagle is a great journey. It's a great journey of a pose, right? You can always work on deepening it. All right, you can always play with this. You can lower your foot down as well if you want more balance. Welcoming this compression in all the juicy parts of our lymph nodes, wherever they are in those, in those joints, in those creases in our body. And big release here. Good. Come back to traditional mountain posture. Big exhale. Good job, everyone. All right. Go ahead and turn again to the front of your mat, giving yourself space. So maybe stand in the middle. Deep breath in. Lift your left knee up high. This time we're going to fly back, testing our balance and strength and fluidity into warrior three. Balancing on our right leg. You can Spread your arms out to the side like a big airplane or out front in traditional warrior three pose. If you fall out again, just get back into it. Maybe you, you use blocks or hold on to a chair. Core is strong. Left leg is lifted. Your body's like a big capital T. Good. Exhale. Stand up tall, but keep your left leg lifted and rest down. Good job. All right, give our, let's give our supporting legs some rest. You're gonna 
put your right leg behind your left and gently reach up, feeling the curve as if you are the vessel itself, but feeling that opening in the front of your foot too. Let's play with that on the other side. Left leg roots, lift your right knee up, deep breath in, extend your right leg behind you, flex your right foot as if your foot's resting against the wall. Do your best to come down into warrior three, your body's one big T. Maybe your hands stay on the ground like mine are here, or you can play with it, one hand comes up, then the other. Maybe you rest on just your fingertips. Good. These postures, even though we hold them, there's a lot of movement, a lot of micro movement and dynamicism in them. Be kind to yourself. Good, gently lift your right knee up. That was a tough side for me. But we grow through challenge, right? All right. Left leg comes behind now, since that was a supporting leg for us. Reach up and lift your chest. Push your hips forward, feel a nice curve, a nice stretch in your body. Ah, that felt really good, right? Cool. Inhale, arms overhead, and just really shake it out. You can turn side to side like I am. You can just shake whatever you need to do to let go of the past there. Inhale, arms overhead. Dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop back to high plank. Shift forward, lower your knees here. Spread your knees as wide as your mat. Ah, our first child's pose of class. I like to wrap my hands behind so I can grab my heels. Now, as you do this, hold on to your heels. You can inch your knees closer towards your head. So you're feeling a bit of a compression there. Keep breathing, give yourself this rest and restoration. Good, if this feels good for you, lift onto the crown of your head, that's called rabbit posture. Something different. Eventually come sitting up tall, sitting on your heels. Hands come to heart center. Good, now gently swing your legs in front of you. I'll turn towards you so it's easier to see. You wanna go ahead, you're gonna hug your left leg into you, let your right leg cross underneath. So it's like your knees are gonna fall over each other, okay? So now my right ankle is to the outside of my left knee. I'm sitting up nice and tall. I'm gonna cross my left arm over my leg. A deep twist here. If this is uncomfortable for you, any twist will do. You can lay on your back and twist. We're just trying to twist here, yeah? If this feels okay for you, lower your both feet down and reach your forehead towards the ground. You're gonna feel a stretch in your outer thigh. Good. Hug your left knee into you still. And this time, cross your other arm across. So twist on both ends. Sitting up nice and tall. Good. Undo your legs. Both legs are out wide. Just like we did in the beginning of class, reach forward with both legs spread out wide. Maybe your knees are bent, maybe they're straightened. Perhaps you can reach a little lower. Enjoying this stretch here. Use your hands to walk you back up to seated. Good. All right, so now we're gonna do that same twist, but right leg comes up and over our left leg. Our left leg is down low, right arm reaches high. Turn over your left shoulder. Keep your collarbones nice and broad as if you're an upward facing dog. Good, come back to center. As if you're looking into a lake, peer forward, hinge forward from the hips. You can round out your back here if you so choose. Sit up nice and tall. Deep breath in, left arm comes up and over, twisting, looking over the right shoulder. Even in these twists, keep your breaths full. <sighs> Don't shorten your breath. Good. Release the twist, come back to center. 
legs are out wide, inhale, arms overhead, reach forward as if you're giving someone a basket, keep reaching, 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 and eventually let your hands and head rest down. Look down, you can round out your back, again, your knees can always be bent, anytime you might feel pain in your lower back, that might be a signal to bend your knees for comfort. Using your hands, walk up sitting nice and tall. And now let's turn towards the front of your mat. Good. Again, controlling here, firing up our belly, a mini boat pose as we go back down to the, our mats. Rest your back down, hug your knees to your chest. You all did great. I'm sure you challenged yourself, gained strength and flexibility. All right, tee out your arms here. You're gonna just windshield wiper your knees. Your chest is still open. Your hips are getting a bit more opening and relaxation. Good. Hug your knees into your chest again. Full deep breaths here. Release your left sole of your foot to the mat. Cross your right ankle over your left quad. Hug your left knee into your chest. We have a figure four here, a supine figure four. Welcoming the big stretch in our right outer thigh. Good, release your legs down. Uncross your legs. Left leg now crosses over your right quad. Keep your left foot flexed. Hug your right ankle or right shin into your, your body. Feel that hip opening. Good. Exhale, uncross your legs. Walk your feet out as wide as your mat. Knock your knees into each other. I love this posture. Arms can be extended overhead or teed out, whatever feels best for you. Like you can even be hugging yourself. Yogi's choice. All right. Deep breath in. Swoop your arms back behind your legs. Squeeze every muscle in your body. And release down. Shavasana. In the Shavasana, do your best to stay still. We're always constantly going, 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 but sometimes we find growth and clarity and peace even in the moments of stillness we grant ourselves. Keep focusing on your breath and keep breathing. I will guide us out of this momentarily. Enjoy. Begin to deepen your inhales and exhales, drawing consciousness again back into your body. <sighs> wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, gently waking up. Reach your arms overhead. Good morning. Good morning, stretch any time of the day. Gently roll onto one side and push yourself to sit up tall. Look down. Have a nice little neck stretch, gently grabbing. Maybe you, you reach for your left ear with your right hand, feeling the stretch and release in your neck. Roll your neck the other way. Left hand gently tugs on your right ear, feeling that stretch along your neck. Roll your neck head down. Good. Reach up high, nice and tall. Cactus your arms down, slight back bend. Hands meet at third eye. I bow to you. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. I hope you enjoyed. Namaste. Take care, everyone.